Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Mr. Teacups and I welcome you back to The Sim City. Mr. Teacups is the most inconsistent motherfucker in the world. He says he's going to upload videos, but he doesn't. We're going to try and get into a routine. I tr I'm not making any promises, but I want to try and upload videos, but I've been somewhat busy lately. But I'm not really that busy anymore, so we're going to try and make videos. And today, we're back in my SimCity playthrough where I'm trying to achieve the perfect futuristic city or something along those lines. We're trying to firstly get these Mega Towers maxed out. we still got a long way to go, but we're going to try and do that. This city is looking bitching at the moment, but this episode... I got some things I want to talk about, and we are in deficit at the moment. Why? What's 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 going on? I don't remember if the buy. Oh yeah, I had to buy that for that, didn't I? Okay, that'll sort itself out soon. Anyway, let's let's slow this down. Let, let's go. Let, you know, let's get some talking going. Today is actually March the seventh in England, and this game was actually added to my library two years ago on March the 7th. That is something I didn't actually plan, that is something I didn't actually really even pay attention to, I kind of forgot when this game came out. And fuck me, I can't believe it's been two years already. Two years and I still haven't completed my series, that shows you how how lazy I am, or just, I don't know really how to describe it, I can't believe it's been two years already. I somewhat enjoyed this game and I somewhat haven't and that's one of the reasons why I'm making this commentary today because I want to talk about another game that's on the horizon and that is, you've probably seen it around, if you like city builders you've probably seen it, it's called uh, City Skylines, it's been live stream a lot lately and it looks fucking good. Yeah I'm a huge huge fan of city building games and since I've seen the gameplay of it I just want it, I just want it, I just want it right now. And that's something I'm going to be talking about. It's coming out on Tuesday. It's going to be on this channel. I'm going to be making a shit ton of videos for it. So look out for that. But the reason why I've liked the look of it. So far it looks like everything that SimCity should have been. It looks like it's got a challenge there. It looks like it's more in depth. It looks like it's got better micromanagement. The city sizes are bigger. It just looks like a better SimCity. And it just got my dick so fucking rock hard the second I saw it. Because in the last two years... We haven't really had, how do I put it, we haven't really had that great selection of city builders. We've had some here and there. One honorable mention would be Banished, a game I actually did cover on this channel. A game I did abruptly stop making videos of, mainly because it was so fucking hard. Like, I like city building games with a lot of micromanagement, uh, mainly because it, it gives it somewhat of a difficulty. It feels like you're doing something. SimCity has literally no micromanagement. This game is so easy to do well. It doesn't really take that much uh, thought to put into it. Like, if I wasn't making a commentary right now, I could create the absolute perfect cities without even just paying attention. The city sizes just make it... Uh, a non-existent challenge you know that's one thing about this game that was kind of annoying but banished it had a huge level of micro transit micro transaction this isn't fucking fee for fucking packs uh, actually i wouldn't be surprised if ea did that soon if you want to put down a new house you have to get a fucking pack out if you might get a house you might not you've got to spend an extra quid on it surprised i haven't done that yet but um the micro management in banished was just unreal to the point where it's just unnecessarily hard the thing with banished i was trying to achieve the perfect city of around about a thousand population and it just got to the point where if you made one fucking mistake when you was at around about three, like I got to around about 700 population. If you say made one little mistake when you was on around about you know 300 population, you could not you could not sort out that problem. Uh, it would get to the point that you would everyone would just die. Uh, a couple of a couple of seasons later, when you got more and more population, if, it would just come so unsustainable. The resources would just come so fucked that you just died, and that happened to me so much. So I got to the point where I was on 700 population, I made one mistake, and no matter how much I tried to like sort it out, I think it was a food situation. Like, I just put farms and that everywhere. You just could not sort it out. You just could not beat the system and win that situation. Everyone died. It got to the point where I was just reverting saves until I was, you know, when I was around about three, four hundred population. And I just could not win. I just could not beat the game. It just got so tedious. And that was a game where the uh, micro management was just, it was just too high. But so far, City Skylines, what I've seen of it so far, let's fast forward and get these bad boys building, has looked decent. It looks on point. I'm not going to know until I play it. And that's just one of the reasons why I've been making this commentary, because I want to fucking play it. I'm going to be making sh the episodes on my channel. I know I'm going to try and head for a million population. That is my goal for that series. I know that's going to be my goal straight away. I don't know if you can do that. But I'm going to try. I'm also going to live stream the shit out of it. So if you want to see that, check the link below. Alright, so we've kissed that game's ass so much. I'm kissing the game's ass I haven't even played yet. Let's get back into this. Because my Mega Towers are doing well at the moment. And we're in a huge deficit at the moment. We do have a garbage situation at the moment. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. And about half our garbage cans are not being collected, so that is kind of frustrating. Bitches are moving on up in the center of our city. The wealth is going up. We got another floor completed here. Let's put another one on. That was apartment level more. Let's put another apartment level one so we get that higher wealth up in this bad boy. Uh, are you maxed out? You're maxed out. What about you? Uh, you're maxed out. 
You're not maxed out, so let's put another level on you. Uh, we got more level there. We could put an office level on. Why not? We do need one of those going. So we're in huge deficit at the moment. I just realized that. Mainly because we're just putting down these mega towers and they cost a lot of money. I don't think people have been moving in. I haven't really been really paying a lot of attention to that. So we're going to put up these taxes a little bit to get some money. Um, that really didn't make that much of a difference. Our population is so low in this city that it doesn't really make that much of a difference. So... Yeah, there are a lot of houses available because uh, the wealth has gone up, but no one's really moved into them yet. We just got some bitches moved in, I do believe. That's why uh, we just got some more money. But the main thing we need to sort out right now is the garbage dump. I think this is our only garbage dump over here. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that is getting full up pretty quick. Is there anything we can do here? Anything we can add on? Another furnace? Um, no, it's in quite a shit location so I don't think we're gonna be able to do that I might put down another another garbage plant down here do we need recycling uh, oh there's 8,000 um, we could do, put down a recycling center I think I'm gonna put down a recycling center down here because we have got a lot of people trying to recycle but they're not getting it going so far what can we add on here aluminium lines metal rick mm, we'll get We'll get some more trucks going so we can try and collect more. Uh, what is this? What, 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 delivery truck. Uh, plastic smells or alloys. Okay. Mm. Alright. One of these down as well. Put you there. We've got a lot of budget problems at the moment. We might have to take out a loan soon if we want to try and expand this city. We won't put any of those lines down yet. We'll try and get that collecting some stuff soon. That's going to get some people working there in a minute. The only thing I could turn off, uh, we closed that a little while ago because that just takes up so much power. How are you doing with the Omega Co factory? How's the Omega Co doing? I think it is making me profits. We're getting, ooh, we've got a nice little storage guy in there. Is it actually making me money? How much money are we making through trade? Uh, we've got quite a load of processors here. We could sell those off, but we use them in the factory, but we do have a nice excess. Um, can we put any up for trade? I don't know. Should we? Let's have a look. We, oh, we're using them locally, uh, we're using that, oh actually we're importing, shit I forgot we was importing that, we're not making them ourselves aren't we, so the, that costs a lot of money, processes do cost a lot of money, but it's going to good use, the mega code factories are making those drones that are taking over the world. Alright, we're getting, ooh, we're getting a lot of drones produced everywhere, I think we're getting around about the maximum of drones produced every day, which is nice, uh, I think people just moved into our mega tower, which is good, we're going to wait a little minute and wait, for that deficit to go positive. We'll wait for people to fully move in and try and get some cash. We've got 183,000 population. What's the wealth looking like? Um, there's still quite a, hmm, there's still quite a load of low wealth here. We've got, you know, a nice population of high wealth. We've we really got a nice situation here. Um, we've got a medium amount of medium wealth. We've got a low amount of low wealth. Um, well, really, in terms of real life, the high wealth would be really, really small, <laughs> and the low wealth would be massive, and medium would probably be, I don't know, maybe about a quarter of it, so, yeah. But that situation's looking good at the moment, and my mouse has disappeared. Great. All right, we're back. For some reason, my mouse just disappeared, and I was like, whoa, what? I had to try and exit the game while trying to guess where the mouse was, and that took me quite a while. So, yeah, the Mega Towers are looking beastly right now. We're, we're actually pretty close, if I think about it. Um... The Mega Towers are doing well, if we have a look, we've already got four maxed out out of a possible eight, and one of them's already close, uh, that one's close as well. We're actually, we're actually really close. To be honest with you, I think next episode, if we really get a lot of more money, we need to actually start making some money because people are getting pissed. Um, we could actually probably finish this series and max out the Mega Towers, that was my one goal of this series, to just try and get all the Mega Towers complete. We're actually really close at the moment, we're gonna, we're gonna slow down for a minute because there are a lot of people changing their wealth in this city at the moment, there's a lot more buildings going up, so we're gonna try, we're gonna lose a lot of money at the moment, but we're gonna gain a lot of money in the long run, so we're gonna wait a little bit, and calm down a little bit. So next episode, hopefully, I might do some work off stream, try and get some money and just, you know, do all the boring bits. Next episode, we might max out the Mega Towers, and I hope you look forward to that. Hope you look forward to my City Skylines playthrough, which is coming soon to a theater near you. I'm Mr. Teacup, so you can subscribe. I'll see you next time.